Uh, I just want to say a few quick words. I want to thank uh, Bill and Rick for giving me the opportunity and you know supporting me all these years. Um, it's an honor to be a black belt here at Balance and to have all you guys here. You guys are all my friends that have helped me get here. I wouldn't be here without any of you guys. And especially thank the, my students that have come up. I appreciate uh, the, the Bill and Rob had come up. Um, just a few words in regard to my experience with jiu-jitsu. Um, jiu-jitsu has always been a constant in my life for about the past 10 years. And it's something, no matter what happens in life, I, I always am able to go back to that because it's always there. And you could use jiu-jitsu for many reasons. A lot of people I talk to, like, it's good for losing weight, it's good for, you know, releasing stress. It's, it's like therapeutic in a sense, you know, and, and kind of like maybe yoga for some people, you know, they, they work really hard and they want to just let go and relax during that time. And I think that's really good. It's really great to have jujitsu for that, but also make sure that it's not just there to, to, to have something to rest on and something to relax and enjoy. It's also something that can, that can not just heal, it, it can help. It can empower you. It can help you in other areas of your life. It can help you just in jujitsu, just figuring things out. It's just like life, you know, to get to get to a certain point, to pass the guy's guard, you have to break down each detail. And if you see that person as that much above you, you'll never get there. You have to break it down and you have to believe that you can get there. And I think jiu-jitsu for me has enabled me to put that in other areas of my life because I've seen the results on the map. So that's those are my words in terms of jiu-jitsu and what it can do for you. And I hope, uh, you know, you guys continue. And thanks for being here. I'm just going to show one thing, and there's definitely a lot of things I can do from guard passing here. I'm just going to have Rob kind of like a, a butterfly guard position here, okay? So a lot of the times, um, sometimes people come in, they walk into the guard, sometimes they try to come to a side, okay? I've been watching a lot of people, a lot of high-level black belts, and I think a good way to pass is to come inside to the guy. I come down, I lower my head below his head here. I bring his back flat on the mat right here. I'm going to bring one hand in, I'm going to underhook. Some people fear the underhook because the guy can get out to the side. But if you have that pressure down on the guy here, his back flat on the mat, it shouldn't matter. Okay? Now I'm just going to hold on to this leg. I have one hand up, one hand on this leg. I bring my hip over his knee here, and then I just move my hips here, and I can pass. So once again, I want to get the underhook, okay? My elbow is close to my body here. I come down, my head comes below his chest, in, into his chest, below his head. I underhook here. I keep his back flat on the mat, it's leverage. My body weight is going this way. If he pushes me this way here, I need to come back right here. I need to contain this leg. I don't want him to be able to move this leg underneath. So I hold it down here with my hand. I bring my hip over. I switch here. I'm low to the ground just in case he comes up. Right here. One more time. So once again, I want to come into the guy. I don't want to get caught up here, caught up here where he hooks the leg. I just come in right here, here. Bring my hip over his knee. I don't want that knee to come out. Right here. Turn, switch. Try that, please. Cool, man.